born and raised in New Jersey, and I went in the ocean at 12 years old off Manasquan, New Jersey, and I was just amazed by what I saw there. It was just gorgeous. I worked hard to get a tank and a regulator all in the same box. And uh, so I was out there, and I bought it for 60 bucks. And after about seven or eight months, I discovered the uh, instruction manual. And it said, rule number one, never hold your breath. And thank goodness I never held my breath in those days when I ne never knew that you weren't supposed to hold your breath. I chose uh, to come to California because of Long Beach State. You know, I looked on the map and there was Catalina right offshore. And so I selected that as the university that I wanted to go to school in. And we went to get air and they said, by the way, do you have any training? And I said, well, no, I'm, uh, I, you know, they don't ask me for any certification. The shop encouraged me to, to get a MOSPAC certification, which I did. UICC was just a blast. It was the first time I ever got involved in an organized diving activity. who had a great history, and uh, I was very proud of that association. And I became a, a proud ice cream jacket uh, wearing, clipboard toting, whistle uh, guy for LA County. And, the thing about that experience was, is that it was the first time I was compelled to get up and speak in front of people. And I was really nervous about that. I was petrified, in fact. So uh, it gave me good training and good background in that. We had to actually make our own visual aids. And I remember one I made about uh, air embolism, where I have this diver whooshing out of the water with red eyes and say, never hold your breath, which is exactly what I was not aware of when I was uh, taking my <laughs> first uh, uh, breaths with Aqualung. I like to teach diving or be a dive master or, and just to help people understand that there's a whole new exciting world under there. I mean, when I'm diving, I don't think about anything. I don't think about any problems that I have, any stressors that my life has. All I think about is like the world that I'm in and then the safety precautions that goes along with it. But it's like, I don't think about any problems. It is the most freeing, stress reducing activity that I could possibly do. Uh, this year I'm the course director for the 40th um, ADP. I'm the vice president of the Underwater Instructors so Association. LA County is where it all started and two, it's, we're the ones that really care about scuba diving and about teaching. There's a lot of instructors out there that came from LA County. They're also certified as other, other, through other agencies. So with LA County though, you know, we're always looking at, at, at teaching, we're always looking at you know, improving skills. You know, we take, we take beginning divers, and when we're done with them, they're good divers. We, we take people through our advanced diving program, when they're done, they're excellent divers. They go through our instructor program, they're excellent instructors. 
look at the time factor. I mean, you could become a paddy instructor or an hour instructor in two weeks. You can take a now air paddy dive advanced dive program in a, in a weekend. A, the dive, dive class. I mean, those are there. Those are good classes. They definitely are. But there's nothing like ADP. Ten weekends long. There's nothing like UICC. I mean, you're talking 14 straight weekends, and plus three months of work after that. And once you're done, you know your material inside and out. You know how to keep people, educate people, and keep them safe. Nobody else can has a record that we do. What do you like the best about diving? Everything. Just the water is great. The environment is great. I like the fish, the color, the activity, the things you can do with with diving. Well, yeah, I did ten years on the cruise ships, Princess Cruises, uh, Mexico, Caribbean, South America, through the canal. One thing that sticks in my mind is a dive at San Clemente Island one time at about 125 feet where you could look up and see the people making their entries off the boat. That kind of visibility. Another time was very psychedelic in shallow water at Catalina. Everything was just, just golden kelp and green algae and purple algae and just really psychedelic. What do you see in the future in your diving? My diving? Just sport diving, dive for halibut, lobster, and jade. What I like about diving in general, what I've always liked about it from the time I was a kid, whether you're, whether you're free diving or whether you're scuba diving, the minute your head's down in that water, everything else goes away. Any of your problems, any of the good times, you're in your own little world. And uh, all it takes is a dive underwater and there you are.